All right, guys, welcome. Today is Wednesday, and for us, it's kind of a wacky Wednesday. Um, today is May 31st, which means we are two days away from our shop tour. That starts on Friday. That's the Central Coast um, shop tour. Um, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. It's kind of a long day. <laughs> Central Coast quilt shop tour. Um, if you'd like to come, <laughs> I have to get my brain in order here. It's been a really long day. So we are here at Old Town Quilt Shop in Orchid, California. Here is our address um, and our hours. However, special hours for the rest of this week. We are closed tomorrow, Thursday, June 1st, um, so that we can prep for the shop tour. And then Friday and Saturday, we are open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the shop tour. And then Sunday, we are open 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. for the shop tour. Um, so those are our special hours. Normally, these are our hours, um, but you know, for this week, we've got the shop tour. If you have any questions on what I've told you, um, or what I've not told you, here is our website. You can go there. There's information on there. And our email address, you can email us a question. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. And then also our phone, you can call. Don't know if we'll answer the phone tomorrow, um, but we will over the weekend. Alrighty, so shop tour. Let's grab a flyer that I don't have. Let's talk about the bag. <laughs> so if you were one of the lucky ones to get a premium passport, and you can still get one until tomorrow, just not at our shop because we don't have any more, but all the northern stores have um, passports still the premium passport. So the premium passport is $15. What it gets you is this lovely bag. It is a very nice canvas bag with a boxed bottom. Um, this is a great shopper. Um, it's really nice, good quality. And then at every shop that you go to during the shop tour, you get your, your passport stamped, you get a wonderful pin from that shop. And our pin is this one here. And then you can see all of the other shops pins. We don't have this the pin from Super Buzzy, um, but we have everybody else. So these pins are exclusive to each shop and they are only for premium passport holders. So how do you get a premium passport? You can go at any one of the northern shops. That would be the Cotton Ball in Morro Bay, um, So Fun in Atascadero, um, Coulter's Cupboard in Atascadero, Orange Dot Quilts in Paso, and the Quiltery in Paso. I believe Creation Station in Buellton also has some. But you can go, you can, you'd can. you have to go there tomorrow, you'd have to call. Um, they're $15, that gets you the bag and the special pins. So if you don't do the premium passport, that's fine. You can still do the shop tour. So there's the free, the regular passports that you'll get on the day starting the tour. So the very first shop that you go to, you will get um, the free passport. They will also give you a lovely lanyard to put your passport in. Um, it says Central Coast Quilt Shops on it, so it's got our little association logo on there. So you'll get the lanyard and your passport. And then each shop also has a patch that everybody gets, and this is our patch. So our theme is Sip and Sew. The general theme for the shop tour is threading your way through the Central Coast. So pretty much everybody has a completely different theme, and their patches and pins are usually geared towards that theme. So that's what you get just for walking in the door at any shop. Um, you will get their patch and you will get the, the lanyard. Plus, most of them also have some sort of little goodie to give you. Our goodie is a sip and sew cup. So it's got our little logo on there. It's got a nice lid with a straw. So lots of fun. Um, so everybody who walks through our door and gets their passport stamped will get one of these cups. Now, if you finish the whole tour, so if you go to all nine shops, you get your passport stamped at all nine shops, whatever shop you end at, whether it's our shop or the very last shop that you go to, it doesn't make any difference. Whatever your last shop is, you will get a finishing gift. So the finisher gift for our shop is this wonderful keychain. It's soft, bendable, it has our information on there so you know where to go. So if you get lost, people can return you to our shop. <laughs> And then from the association, you get this wonderful um, cutting mat. So this is, you know, top quality Ulfa cutting mat. It is a six by eight mat. 
So it's perfect for taking to classes or just having right next to your machine for you know, cutting off little dog ears or something. Um, or if you need to put your binding together and you're using the binding tool that we like, you can have it right next to your machine so that you can cut those little ends off. Um, this is a perfect thing, thing for that. Or if you just cut small things or if you just need something you know, handy right next to you. So that's what um, the finisher gift from the association is. Now, also if you finish, you will get your passport entered into the drawing for the grand prize, which is a $1,500 gift certificate to any or all of the shops. So you can spend that $1,500 at one store or you can spread the love across all nine shops. So that's a pretty good deal. And then we also have 20 more gifts for 20 more finishers. So that's pretty exciting. And then beyond that, each shop also has um, a gift basket, a raffle basket, that at the end of the day they will raffle it off from all the people that came in that day. Um, so even if you aren't going to do the whole tour, come to our shop or whatever your home shop is and enter into their raffle basket drawing because it's daily. So we've, every shop has three baskets. So that's a total of 27 baskets that you could win if you are like the super luckiest person in the entire world. <laughs> but I have known people who have won more than one. So, you know, it is possible. Okay, so that's shop tour information. So that starts this Friday. That's two days from today. So we're closed tomorrow on Thursday, and then we'll reopen on Friday at 9 o'clock, and we will go until 6 for stamping passports. Okay, any questions on that? We're all good. We're super excited. Okay, so let's get to what we've gotten in this week. So we'll start with, oh, I forgot. Um, we have a game. <laughs> So if you make a purchase in our shop, you take your, your receipt from that day's purchase. So it's Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. So you take your receipt. If you come in on Friday and you make a purchase, you bring that receipt out to the classroom. And you get to play a little game um, with prizes. So lots of fabric and stuff out there. So you take that out there. In order to play, you have to have a receipt. For the kids, though, we have a special little prize for them. So we have these really cool uh, slinkies. So the kiddos can still play. Most of them don't really want fabric. If they want fabric, they can have it. But... They can also have a slinky. Adults could have a slinky too if they don't want the fabric, but who doesn't want fabric? <laughs> okay, so we'll start with fabric here. So we have a basic. This is actually a returning favorite. It's from the collection Lower the Volume. Um, so it's a kind of an off-white background fabric, and then it has all of the, it's got the darker gray and the lighter gray, and then kind of the little pastel type colors um, going on there. So this is from Blank Quilting. Oh, I forgot the 10 inch squares. Hold on a second. We also got 10 inch squares of the collection, which feature not just that fabric, which happens to be the top fabric, but a bunch of other fabrics from the Lower the Volume collection. And some of them you may, may recognize. We had that one. Um, we've had quite a few of these in the past. So most of them are gray or black on white, and some of them have little pops of, of color. There's a nice um, newsprint one, and there were scissors, there's some rainbows, so lots of little things. So if you're doing a project that takes a bunch of different backgrounds, um, we have these, and these are great. So we have the 10-inch squares. We also have the fat quarter stacks. We've had the fat quarter stacks, um, but new is the 10-inch the squares, and these are $48.99 for 42 pieces in that. Okay, we also have this fabric called Greenstone. Now we are getting more, but I don't think we're going to get it until next week. This is from Moda Fabrics. This is uh, Jen Kingwell. And this is 1410 a yard. So this is kind of, you know, a classic Moda background. It's like an off-white. And then you have, they're not green, but they're not blue. You know, kind of a, a very light teal maybe, or a light aqua. Um, a very small pin dot on them. And they are linear, which, you know, we know how you feel about linear, but it's a, it's a really pretty, you know, it will make a really pretty background. Okay, so then we also have this lovely collection. There is a lot of them. There are 12 SKUs in this collection. We kind of went overboard and bought the whole thing. Um, we were feeling summery that day. So this is called Sweet and Juicy, and this is from P&B Textiles. We're kind of wondering where this collection was for last year's shop tour since we did picnic party. These would be perfect for that. Um, so again, if you're going to make a, like a picnic blanket or you're going to make 
some table runners or napkins or placemats. These are really fun for that. So we've got the lemonade, pink lemonade pitchers, watermelon and popsicles and some fruit going on in there. I don't exactly know what these are. I think I just called them like star dots. And then we have different kinds of popsicles on a turquoise background and then also on a white background. And then we have watermelon slices on a kind of a golden yellow background. We have lemon slices on a kind of aqua stripe. It's a very narrow stripe. And we have this wonderful fun stripe that makes great binding. We're actually going to show you a project where we use this binding. We have four coordinating colors. So we have a pink and a blue, which has a little bit of green shading in there. And then we have the yellow, the goldy yellow, and then a kind of a limey green. So these are all you know, kind of tone on tone, and, but they coordinate very, very well with all of these, um, all of these guys. So just fun. It makes you want to have nice hot days so you can have a refreshing slice of watermelon and a yummy popsicle. So that's sweet and juicy. Along with all of that, we also got not one, but two panels. <laughs> what we were thinking. Okay, the first one does two placemats and seven mug rugs. So this is a placemat that measures 24 inches wide by width of fabric. Um, but you cut, you know, you just cut out the placemats and they're pretty much already placemat size. You really don't even have to put a border on them unless you want to. You just back them and quilt them and be done with it. And then the little mug rug. So it'd be fun if you're having a little summer party or something. You make a couple of these. Or they could even be wall hangings just, you know, as decor. Put a frame around them and You've got a fun summer wall hanging. Um, this panel is $9.56 for the panel. And then the other one we have is this guy. So this is more if you're going to make a, a quilt or a wall hanging to ring in the summer. This one is also the 24 inches by width of fabric, but it goes the other way. But this one features the watermelon on there and the lemon and strawberries. I see some raspberries and cherries, all those yummy summer fruits that we all just love to have. And of course it has the the cute stripe on there. So fun for you know a lap quilt or wall hanging or whatever you choose. Also $9.56 for that one. Okay, there were two free projects that came with this and we actually made one of them but not with this line because we didn't have it all at the time. Um, some of these guys just they don't all send them in one box so we had one box one way one day and one box the other day. But this one uses that tall panel and it just does pinwheels around in the four colors. So I mean, it's very, very simple. And then it utilizes the striped fabric here in the border, another small border and binding. So super easy. And then this guy is a table runner. So again, it just uses the colors as the pinwheels, those little flower dot guys as the background, and then just use a white or a white grunge or something. And then the watermelon as, um, your border and the stripe as binding. But what we did to kind of change things up, we kind of did our pulling things together that aren't all in the same collection and made a table runner. So we actually used Christmas fabric here, <laughs> but we don't think it looks like Christmas fabric. This is the Create Joy Project um, fabric that doesn't really look like Christmas. So we made it not look like Christmas and we paired it with some batiks. Um, all, all four of the colors are batiks. And then the background is from the Orchard line um, by um, Jill Lilly Studio. And then we have some grunge. And then here's that stripe. So we use the stripe as our binding from the sweet and juicy line. So it isn't so cute as stripe. And then we put cape on the back. So if you're counting, we used at least five different collections in this and they all pair beautifully together. So we use cottons and batiks together, that's an okay thing, and we totally mixed collections and just put kind of not random stuff together but random stuff together. Um, but it's cohesive and it all goes. So you know just to kind of show you that you don't necessarily have to stay within a collection, you can think outside the box and find some other fun things to make it with. Maybe you have this stuff in your stash, maybe you've got a fabulous project, um, a fabulous fabric that has this a nice big print for your border that you've been just dying to use and this would be so cute in there. 
Okay, so that, and by the way, that's one new project that you'll be seeing here in the shop for the shop tour, because we always try and get some new stuff in for you. Then we have Nature's Iris um, by P&B Textiles. Um, so these are like your traditional California poppies. So you can't come to California without seeing these bright orange poppies all over the place. So that's what we got. Um, you know, so if you're going to try and do like a, a memory quilt of California or you just really like poppies. <laughs> but these would also make really cute placemats and napkins. Um, they lend themselves to a very summery feel. Pair it with a nice yellow and some green. It um, would be very pretty. Okay, then if you're done feeling summery and you don't want the hot, you can think about Christmas. So here we have Paisley Christmas. Now all three of these are the same. Um, they're just on different colored backgrounds. These are not metallic. I know they look like it, but they are not metallic. So you have the cream, the dark green, and then the Christmas red. And those all go with the panel. This is a one yard panel, so it's 36 by width of fabric, so about 42. So it's a Christmas tree. Again, easy wall hanging. All you have to do is pick a back, quilt it, and you can be done. Or you can make it into a lap or throw quilt by adding some borders to it, make it a little bit bigger. Um, but lots of fun. You could even quilt presents. In you can make it 3D and put some little fun um, jingle bells on it or ribbon or something. So. A lot of fun. This is called Paisley Christmas, um, and of course the, the three fabrics that we got would make a wonderful border or binding or backing for this, um, make it nice and easily. So again, it's Paisley Christmas by QT Fabrics, and this panel is 1435 since it's a one yard panel. Okay, so some of you, if you are observant, may have seen some new things. So A, we're in a different spot for a video tonight because I said it's Wacky Wednesday today. We are super busy getting everything ready. The back counter was completely full of stuff. I'm putting together the raffle baskets for the weekend. That was all over the place. Just so many things. We're putting up a whole bunch of new samples. I think at last count we had about 20. You might be seeing some behind me right now. So like I said, our theme this year is Sip and Sew. So we had these wonderful laser cut kits made. So we've got the wine with the sewing machine, the coffee with the sewing machine, and the margarita with the sewing machine. So these are all laser cut. You get, we're gonna be selling these as kits, so $25.99 for the kit. They're gonna be available in store only um, at this point. Um, so the kit will include everything for the top. That's the laser cut, the background, the little stripe, and the binding. Um, we also are selling the hangers, the little thread and spool hangers that they're on. I think they're like $16, something like that. Um, they're $16.92. That was a good guess. <laughs> we have them here. Oh, let me show you the other kind that we have. If you don't like the spool and you like quilt blocks better, then we have this guy here and he's $22.02. So he's got the churn dash and a nine patch and then I don't know what, some other kind of fun block. So. And both of the uh, both of these are 14 inch, 12 inch, 14 inch, 14 inch. Um, so if you've got a wall hanging that's 14 inches, then this would fit on there very very easily. Okay, so any questions? No. Okay, so we're really looking forward to seeing you guys this weekend. We hope you will come visit all the shops, even if you can just go to a couple. Um, do try to go to at least a couple. It's always nice to see you know, what everybody else has. We wish we could do the run sometimes so that we can see what everybody else has. <laughs> we kind of do our own throughout the year, go to the other shops, but you know, enter into the raffle basket because like, you know, like I said, you just never know. You might just win something if, or a couple of something. So, all right, well. Um, we have, oh yes, yeah, so we also, not only do we have the daily raffle baskets, you know, for the shop tour that, you know, we get donations from our vendors. But also we have a basket every day that is what we call an Orchid local basket. So we, uh, you know, asked some of the local vendors here in town, some of the restaurants and businesses, if they would be willing to donate something. So we actually have enough to do three baskets. So we'll have one every single day. We've got something from Stellar Home. We've got something from Stellar Sellers. We've got something from um, 
Pizzeria Bella Forno. We also have from the yarn shop up the street, we have a mobile foot spa. Um, what else did we have? Oh, we have scones. Someone made some scones for us. So we just have so many yummy things. We've got wine tasting and wine. So there's just so many different things in those baskets that are really good and they are for local vendors. So, you know, if you are a local person and you win one of those baskets, great. You'll probably already know these, but if you're someone who's out of town and you win them, hopefully that will get you to see our lovely little town and how wonderful we are here. And it's just so wonderful that our, um, how many times can I say wonderful? <laughs> it's just so nice that our businesses will, you know, help support us. They know that we're going to have an influx of people and, you know, they want to show off their town just as much as we do. So, anyways, enter those raffle baskets and we will see you starting Friday at 9 a.m. Have a great night.